Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. This is Dee Graywall, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel. And this is going to be your weekly general read for Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo for the week of 714 to 721. So um, Tuesday the 16th, we are going to have a partial lunar eclipse. We've been in eclipse season um, and anytime we're in eclipse season, it's always about changes and transformation. Um, so, and this can happen from anywhere from now up to six months from now, okay? We do have another eclipse that's gonna be coming up in December. So what happens for you right now, I would pay attention to that. You may see the completion of something in December, but see what's unfolding for you, all right? What happens here, what closes out, and what begins anew as you're moving into that next eclipse cycle, which will be in December. Um, so uh, real quick, you can find me on Facebook at D Graywall, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel, as well as on Instagram at The Angels of Alchemy. Um, and you can also visit my website at healingwithheaven.com to find out about my personal reads and everything you need to know um, is in the description box below. So moving on with your reading, I am pulling from the Black Moon Astrology cards and um, this is the only time that I'm going to read from the book because this is a really in-depth explanation of the cards um, about the planets and also the, the individual zodiac signs. And um, I find that it's quite accurate, all right, um, with the energies of what's playing out for that week. Um, I've been using them a lot and I really like them. So let's tune in. And then I will also pull for my Moonology deck and um, I do kind of want to go into a channeled message from the angels today to see what they have to say. So this is a general read for Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo for the week of 714 to 721, focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721, focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721, focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo from 714 to 721. A message of guidance do you have for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo for the week of 714 to 721, focusing on messages of guidance for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo from 714 to 721. focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721. Focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721. Focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721. What messages of guidance do we have? So you have pulled the fire element, okay, desire. Just 37. <clears throat> there are changes coming, new movement. Look for them to be quick. The element the element of fire in astrology is all about beginnings, our passions, and how fast we get our energy moving. It speaks to how rapidly we react and how long it takes us to accomplish what we set out to do. Fire is burning determination. Fire scorches away impurities, clearing landscape for new growth, and leaving an area healthier and stronger. The signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius fall under the influence of fire. When the fire element card is involved, Expect changes to be dramatic in an unforgettable way. A situation is about to be transformed through a wake-up call or a personal epiphany. The element of fire is spirit moving and a great indicator of creativity. So now is the time to apply your energy wholeheartedly. Step into this path and find your way. Look at your issue from another perspective and try a unique approach. The fire element card also denotes honesty and suggests you act assertively. 
You're about to get up front with someone or vice versa. At least you should. And this card says to push it. In any event, you will soon understand where you stand as all of your cards will be put on the table. Then you can expect less mystery. Watch out for bossy people when this card comes up. It can indicate a type of bulldozing that will be hard to deal with. Others may claim they are speaking to you from a place of truth and concern, whereas they may not understand the situation very well and not offer the best advice. Also, be careful of others attempting to take over and claiming and claiming as theirs what you have created or started. This card can simply, this card, I'm sorry, this card can imply the ego going out of control, but it's important to keep yours in check as well. Since you are now thinking in larger terms, details won't seem to matter as much, but it's important to get everything nailed down. You may be tempted to fly by the seat of your pants and rely upon spontane spontaneity. This is, this is not a bad idea. The fire element card says you have good instincts at the moment and will be able to carry it off as long as you are also grounded. This is a card of passion. Therefore, if romance is your question, this is a compelling attraction, at least on the part of one of you. However, don't make the mistake of attempting to make your love interest jealous if you feel you are not getting the attention you crave. This will surely backfire. If the attention strays though, don't be afraid to have a backup plan. In romance, this card can indicate a sudden attraction. If it is not meant to be, it will burn out fast. But if the relationship has legs, you will be great supporters and protectors of each other. The fire element card is one of new starts and often after the past has been burned away and denotes a period where you start anew. Be honest in your approach. Any arrogance will be your enemy. You will have the zeal to get things done in a way that you want. As far as you, your life is concerned, the pot is being stirred. Lastly, show caution with objects that have a fire or electrical nature. Um, and it's associated with a tarot card, two of wands. So, really this could bring about new beginnings, but after letting go, going through a period of letting go, transforming, transmuting, this card kind of, um, in some ways, um, it's reminding me of the tower card for some reason. Now, I don't look at the tower card as a negative card. I look at the tower card as something that wasn't created on a solid foundation that needed to end so that you could build anew. So I actually look at it as a positive card. And the tower card can also be an epiphany of sorts. And this is the kind of feeling that I'm getting here, okay? There's very transformative energy here um, as I'm looking at this card. And also be careful, you know, I, I feel like be careful of where you're applying your energy. Be careful of um, people that are coming in that may not always be with the best of intentions, especially in, in partnerships and relationships. It's just a feeling that I'm getting. Um, but there's a fiery passion that that comes from this card also. So let's have a look at other messages of guidance. Let me pull from the large deck. And then we'll go into a message. I may save the channeled messages for the um, love and relationships reads. I've been doing that. So let's see. Yeah, you need to be careful with communication this week. Something is testing your patience. I feel that there's frustration. Um, avoid getting into arguments and conflicts. And I feel like this may have come up for you guys um, in, the, in the last read too. But you have emotions running high, super moon. Then you have the fire element. And... You also have believe in the impossible, all right? Something's testing your patience. I feel like for some of you, you're wanting to give up on something. It's just the feeling that I'm getting. Um, something hasn't quite as unfolded as you had hoped it to. And avoid, avoid getting into confrontation and arguments. I feel like some of you are battling with communication concerns with people around you, like you're having issues with people around you. I wouldn't suggest having certain conversations right now. I would wait, okay? Because I almost feel like things need to kind of 
calm all right before you move forward and before you have any conversation plus i feel like you need to go within right now and reflect before you have any kind of communication there is a sense of that so be careful with your words all right there seems to be testy energy um and i also feel like you know so some of you your, your faith is being tested and right now it's so important for you to hold on to faith to believe in the in the impossible to trust that your guides the universe god has your back okay um and sometimes things may not unfold as we had hoped but they will ex they will unfold and exceed our expectations you know you don't always know know best so I feel like a bit of testy energy this week, but you need to remain positive. Let's move on and pull some other cards. Asking for messages of guidance for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo for week of 7.15. Seven, I'm sorry, 714 to 721. Focusing on Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo for the week of 714 to 721. I feel like you need to focus on nurturing you, ground your energy this week. There's something big that you're releasing this week, I feel. Focusing on the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo for the week of 714 to 721. I feel like you're needing to um, rethink something right now. You need to see something from a different perspective. I also feel like you're being faced with a decision um, and I feel like you need to move in a new direction I also feel the 18th is going to be very significant for you. There's something that's happening on the 18th. And what I'm seeing in this card is somebody's coming towards you. I feel that it's, and it's on the 18th, there's some kind of message that's coming in. And it's causing you to go within and to rethink. This is the feeling that I'm getting as I look at this card. You have ruminate. You have alternative and you have boundaries. I feel like you need to trust your intuition this week. There's someone or something you're not quite um, trusting. You're needing to go down a different road. There's a different choice. I feel, feel like spirit is guiding you. Something very significant, very spiritual is unfolding for you this week, okay? There's something around the 18th that was coming up for me, so that would be on Thursday. Um, as I'm looking at this card, there's someone who's coming in here. I don't know if you can see. There's some kind of message that's coming in, but it's causing you to go within. And you'll be gui you're being guided to take an alternative route, okay, to make a different choice. So something here, there's some kind of decision that you're going to be facing midweek, all right? You need to be strong in your decisions and having your boundaries. Let me see. This is a time that you need to make yourself a priority and nurture yourself and don't allow people to sway you any which way, okay? Stand strong and firm in your beliefs.
It's a time for you to nurture yourself. So let's move forward. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Asking for messages of guidance for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo the week of July 14th to July 21st. Focusing on Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from July 14th to July 21st. Focusing on Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from July 14th to July 21st. I also feel like something that you're desiring um, hasn't quite come into fruition and you're being guided to take an alternative route. So some kind of sacrifice, some kind of letting go that you're doing here. of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721, asking for messages of guidance for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721. Asking for messages of guidance for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 714 to 721. Tell me when to stop. Seven fourteen to seven twenty-one. Focusing on messages of silence to Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from seven fourteen to seven twenty-one. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. So let's have a look at this. So you have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. So let's have a look at this. I'm really getting the sense and feeling, okay, you might be dealing with a water sign. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But there's some kind of um, clarity or message that's coming in, all right? I'm seeing you as the Queen of Wands here, okay? This is your energy that I'm feeling. Um, you're in a place where you're feeling very accomplished, beautiful, um, and you are. The, the Queen of Wands is a, a passionate beautiful very sexy woman okay um and of course if you know it can flip flop so <laughs> a sexy man or you know somebody who's strong in their values um and i'm just getting a sense and feeling that there's some kind of message that you've been waiting on you've been tr wanting some kind of clarity within a situation and you're gonna get your clarity there's some kind of message that's coming in towards you all right and it's coming from this King of Cups. Um, so let's just leave those cards at the bottom of the deck, but I wanna move forward and see what energies we have here. You have the Moon card, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Judgment, Judgment, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, The Hermit, 
Wheel of Fortune, the Four. All right. So in the past energy here, you have the Moon card and underneath that Four of Pentacles. So I get the sense and feeling that there was something that was hidden from you, somebody around you that was holding back, um, not coming through with honest intentions, um, not communicating. Um, I just get the sense and feeling that they were very detached, not being open and honest. But let's look further into this. So this is a read for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. A week of 714 to 721. What messages of guidance do we have? Let's clarify the moon card. I do feel that somebody's coming in with an apology. Um, they're coming in with an apology, but they're coming to you as the Knight of Wands. Uh, the, the apology, you have the Page of Pentacles. But there's two energies here that I'm picking up. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I feel that previously there was some kind of deception. Let's have a look at this. But let's see what this could... This doesn't have to necessarily be a, a partnership read. I really don't want it to be a partnership read because I want to focus on... Okay, let's clarify the moon card, another card, we have restrictions. Let's see, can I have a little clarity fire for the moon card and restrictions? So, yeah, I, I get the sense and feeling you were left out in the dark about something or feeling very restricted by your circumstances and what's happening with you right now. And there's also a feeling of indifference. Now, if you're dealing with a person, okay, that you were involved with from the past, I get the sense and feeling that they um, behaved in a way that was dishonest. Um, they were, they had, uh, there was very restrictive energy. This could have been a person that was controlling or they felt controlled by their circumstances, but they were very indifferent to you. Um, they didn't appreciate you the way you deserve to be appreciated. I get the sense and feeling of that. They're coming through here with enthusiasm, all right? And they're coming through here with wanting to make peace. Wanting to come through with an apology. That's the sense and feeling that I'm, I'm getting. And that's over the, that's clarifying the Page of Pentacles. Let's have a look at the Knight of Wands. Sorry guys, if you hear my dog in the background. Focusing on the Knight of Wands. Focusing on the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I get the sense and feeling that this was somebody who um, really was a bit of a jerk. I'm just going to say it to you like that. Um, overly confident, kind of felt like, you know, you owed them something. That's the feeling that I get from them. Um, look, look at this card. Look at the way he is in this card. He really thinks he's it. Okay. And I feel that this is, this is somebody that is from your path that's coming through but they're also coming through still. There's a part of them that hasn't really changed all that much. Even though they're coming through with an apology, they're overconfident, okay? They're coming ho coming through thinking that they can get their way. Um, this is the sense of feeling. I do feel this is a bit of a relationship read. They were holding back in the, in, in the past. You have the four of pentacles. They were holding on to their, not only were they holding on to their money, I don't feel it was a relationship of equal give and take, but they were also holding on to feelings, not expressing emotions and feelings. That's the sense and feeling. But they're coming in here because they want to make you an offer. You have the Ten of Pentacles underneath the Page of Pentacles. They want to bring you an offer of stability now. 
But whatever this apology is and that's coming in, now remember, over here in the cards that I pulled before, you, you were being guided to take an alternative route and to make sure you have your boundaries up and strong. Now, perhaps this message is coming in on the 18th, but there's something around the 18th that I feel that is going to be significant. But what's happening here is as this person's coming in, you've gone into four of swords mode, which means you're taking a time out. You're resting, you're rethinking, um, you know, but this is something that is being brought to balance. So this was out of balance before. This person didn't behave in a manner that was respectful. Um, they didn't treat you with kindness, love and respect is the sense of feeling that I'm getting. And now they're coming in here. Um, quick, fast communication, uh, feeling like you owe them something, you know, still coming in with a lot of confidence and just be wary of this energy. I don't trust it. So let's see, why do we have the judgment card here? Why do we have the judgment card? So reading for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from 715 to 721. Why do we have the judgment card? Yeah, they want a reunion. They want to come in. They want to, they want to make amends. Okay? They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. Um, they see that you're strong, confident, beautiful. Um, they see you as being independent, somebody who's got it together. This is the sense and feeling. And they're coming through now because they want a reunion. They want to reconcile with you. They want to come through with an apology. That's the sense and feeling that I'm getting. And they're moving in very, very quick. Okay. So why do we have the Eight of Wands here? I feel like they're bringing in a message, but this is causing you to withdraw. You're wanting to completely retreat from this. Why do we have the Eight of Wands? Why do we have the Eight of Wands? It's a reading for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo for the week of July 14th to July 21st. Yeah. This message that's coming in is causing you to withdraw. You've, you're going into hermit mode. Um, but this is very fated. Um, that, that you have the Wheel of Fortune card next to the hermit. So you have three major Ar arcana cards here. Okay. Um, it's causing you to reflect. You're not sure about this. You don't know if you want to move forward with it. And so you're withdrawing. You're taking a time out. You don't want to move forward. But this is the wheel of fortune bought this. This was fated. So I feel like um, previously it was unjust. It wasn't, it didn't end fairly. And it left you with a lot of questions. And now I feel the situation's been brought back round. The wheel has brought it back round in your favor. But you don't want this. I get the sense and feeling you want a new beginning, but you don't want a new beginning with this person. This is the feeling that I'm getting. It's causing you to withdraw. What is... Um, Let's clarify the Hermit card. It's a reading for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. From July 14th to July 21st. Why do we have the Hermit card? Yeah, you're going within. You're, you're focusing on it. You have searching. You're going within. You're focusing on what it is that you truly desire. And if this is an offer that you really want. So you're needing to detach right now. And that's fine because you do have the card of boundaries here. You don't trust this offer that's coming in to you. Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune card? This is for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. For week of July 14th to the 21st. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. You have Romantic. You have romantic. This is a partnership and relationship that's coming in. This person wants to make an offer of love for you. To you, I'm sorry. Okay? But let's see. Give me another card to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. But I'm not sure you're going to take this offer. I feel like you don't feel... They want a new beginning, but I don't feel that you want this beginning with them. 
Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Romantic card here? This is reading for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo from 714 to 721. You're just, I feel like you're thinking if this is going to be, if this really gives you what you need, if it's going to, if it's a stable offer or not. So you're thinking about it, but I don't feel that you're really going to take it. I don't feel you're going to take this offer. Tell me about the four cards. How is Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo going to move forward? It's a week. 714 to 721. Tell me about the full card. You've learned from this experience, okay? And I, I feel like you're moving in a new direction. You're focused more on your own personal growth than you are about investing in a situation i feel like you no longer want to invest in this it's like you learned from your past you're no longer making the same mistakes um and really it's not even about making mistakes you learned from this experience you know what it is that you truly want and i don't feel that you're going to move forward with this person you see them as somebody who's just coming in they're quite charming and you see that that they fooled you in the past but you see them as the devil you have conformity here. You see them as a devil, okay? You don't trust them. So I feel like, and you find them to be controlling. So I don't feel that you're going to take this off, but guys. Yep. You've taken all that you needed to take from this relationship in the past. You've had enlightenment. You've had spiritual growth. You know what it is that you want. You've come into your own you feel, feel more confident. You love yourself. You know what your worth is. And you know what you truly deserve. So I don't feel that you're going to jump on this offer. So let's see what messages of guidance we have. What messages of guidance do we have for earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. For the week of July 14th to the 21st. All the hard work and effort you've been putting into yourself is starting to unfold and blossom beautifully. Um, I feel like you can feel the changes that you've made. Um, you need to know how far far you've come you're singing your own song you have bee spirit canary spirit messages of guidance for taurus capricorn and virgo you've really come into your own and that's what i feel like um you've been applying yourself and and taking care of what you need to take care of for you loving yourself and nurturing you and there's so much knowledge and wisdom that you've gained. And I feel that you're finally in a place where you're learning to love yourself. Make yourself a priority. You're singing your own song. I feel like you're in a place where you feel good about you, where you're nurturing you and making you a priority. Because you've gone through growth and you've gained so much wisdom and knowledge. All right? Um, it's like you're also looking at your situations from the past and seeing, you know, what did I learn from this experience? You're learning to see things through different eyes and through a whole new world and a different perspective. This is a beautiful reading because I feel like you've stepped into your own. You're taking back your power. Um, and where you felt powerless in situations before, you're no longer willing to accept that. You're not tolerating people who don't mean well. Okay? This is a beautiful reading, guys. And I've really been seeing the, the readings unfolding over the last few weeks. And I feel like you're doing so well, Earth Signs. You're moving forward with confidence and strength. You've been going through this growth 
and it's really been a very beautiful thing. So let's just tune in. I'm gonna tune in and allow the messages to come flow through me and what the angels wish to share and say at this time. So give me a moment as I tune in. You are seeing through new eyes. Let go of the thoughts of what has and hasn't happened. And focus your energies and intentions to where you are in this very moment, in the now. And as you do look back, don't look back to what was and view things as mistakes. Let go of the burdens of the past and instead see things as opportunities of growth, opportunities of enlightenment, opportunities to take back your power, your strength. See how far you have come and all that you have accomplished. See the truth of who you are the love that you are. Recognize the beautiful healing journey that you have been on and how beautifully it's unfolded. Nothing of the past was a mistake. For every experience that you live, teaches you something, there is truth, there is knowledge, there is wisdom, all of which you have gained. Rise above any obstacles and challenges you feel you face, for in truth, it is only your view of the situation that creates those obstacles and challenges. See things as blessings, sometimes a blessing in disguise. Know that everything is in divine perfect order and exactly as it needs to be in this present moment. And above all, trust and have faith. Have faith not only in yourselves, have faith in your creator know that you are very much dear to us and loved and supported and guided on your path forward. There are many such as us that support you on each of your own individual journey. You are never alone. You are always surrounded with love and support and light. We always wish you many, many blessings. Trust and believe in the power of miracles. God bless. Namaste. So that's a message from them to you. 
I am wishing you a most blessed and beautiful week ahead. I truly do feel that this is going to be a very significant week for you. Pay attention to around Thursday the 18th. There's something of significance unfolding there. And I would love to hear from you. Um, share with me what's unfolding for you. We're all in this together. Um, know that I'm supporting you and sending you an incredible amount of love and healing. Thank you for listening and watching my channel. I'm wishing you a most blessed and beautiful week ahead. Please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Namaste.